Hi there, Ivan from the LaCroix Cruiser. How to install an exhaust manifold on a Detroit diesel. You'll notice there's a difference between these two. One is smooth, the other one has a crimp to it. We want to install the crimped side towards the head, not towards the manifold. Very important. From there, we can actually put these washers on. These washers have a crown to them. So you see how it's crowned out? You want the crown or the convex side out, the concave side towards the head. And the nuts. Put these on as well. And we're not going to drive them down all the way, we're just going to set them on it. This allows us to slide on the exhaust manifold while holding everything in place. So with the help of my lovely wife, the exhaust manifold, as you can see, there's these bumps here bumps serve a purpose. They're to register against these bumps here to make sure that your exhaust manifold is perfectly aligned. This slides up. Now it's hitting, it's resting on those manifolds or on those bumps and we don't have to do anything else. It holds itself there. On the ends, we put these caps and they go like that. And we drop the nut on the floor, that's always a great way of putting it. From there, we're going to drive these down just till they're slightly snug. We don't want to put a lot of pressure on them. And after that, we'll torque these. 35 foot pounds. Now with the 11 sixteenths. Again, not tight, just so they hold in place. start in the center and work your way up. Don't do this. It's not good. When installing our exhaust manifold, we had a stud break. Now, it's only 35 pounds of torque and it broke so obviously it was due for a break and we have this handy dandy tool here for removing studs it grabs onto the stud and turns it with ease. From there, I should be able to take it up with my fingers. Now we need to install a new stud. So we just happen to have a new stud here. So we'll put it on. And if your engine has oil or water in it, you might get a leak when you take a stud out. So you'll want to remove that first. You're gonna need two nuts to work the stud in. 
and you want to bring it down to the shoulder. Those two nuts. Now if you're lucky, you only need one, but it in. Now I'm going to use a second nut on top of this one to be able to lock the stud in. So using two 11 16 wrenches, the size of the nut you're working with, we'll first lock the two nuts together. Once they're locked together, now we can Drive that stud in a little further to the point where we can now remove the nuts. The stud stays in the head, even with a self-locking nut. You don't want to use a thread locker on these. Day you have to remove a stud, you won't be too proud of yourself. Let's put our gaskets back on. We'll get our exhaust manifold and put it on. Let's try this one more time without breaking a stud this time. Resting on the ledge. handy battery powered ratchet. Also measure your, your exhaust manifold to make sure that it's straight before putting it on. You want to start in the center and work your way up. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, or thoughts, always tune in to the LaCroix Cruiser on Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube. Thanks a lot.